to be honest with you guys, this is probably going to take about an hour and a half, but I'm going to try to condense this down to like 10 minutes or less. Bolo! What is good, you guys? It's your boy Bolo. Before we get started with the video, you know, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and please turn on those post notifications. And if you do like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you do not like this video, hit that thumbs down. I really don't care. Well, today we are going to be making a beat on the FL Studio Mobile on the iPad. And uh, hopefully it comes out dope. I haven't made a beat on it since the last time I made a beat on FL Studio Mobile. So we're gonna see how this turns out. So, looks like we're gonna be struggling again. So uh, let's go ahead and get to the video right now. All right, before we start recording, the first thing we need to do is make sure we have the metronome turned on. What we can do is go right here where it says the BPM. We can just click and hold on that. And then we need to turn this metronome on just like that so that we can hear the metronome playing while recording. So let's go ahead and record this in right now. All right, so just recorded that. I know I messed up on the notes. I need to find out if it's gonna snap the right way. So let's right click on that, press snap. Uh, didn't do anything. So let me go ahead and highlight these notes. Kind of tricky when you do it with this mouse, you gotta highlight that. And we're gonna press, gonna press snap now once we highlight everything. And everything should be cool now, yeah. So it got it somewhat. Some of these notes are not necessarily like right on like how I want it. Of course, we're gonna have to move a few notes and we can just take them and once we have it snapped, we can just move the notes. One thing I do like about FL Studio Mobile is just like the regular FL, you can move notes very easily in here. And let's play it now. <laughs> So it sounds good. So we need to do like another counter melody with it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go to um, the audio bus thing again so we can pull up our uh, sounds. Let's go ahead and go to Pearson Platinum. I love Pearson Platinum. Let's go into there. Hmm. Taking a little while to connect. Huh? Huh? Whoa. Didn't connect. Ah. It connected that time, I think, did it? No, I don't think it connected. Wow, that is strange. Hmm, Pearson Platinum did not connect. Uh, let's go to a different one. Let's, wow, that kinda, that kinda blew me a little bit. That kinda shocked me. Let's go to the Poison synthesizer and see if that works. Okay, that works. So, don't know what happened, but that works. So let's try to find a counter melody for this. melody in there um, let's go ahead and make sure this is quantized so as you can hear one of the notes is off so we're just gonna take it and we're gonna slide this back over and we're gonna snap that so we'll just snap some of the grid there we go and... all right it's taking way too long for me so let's go ahead and play it back. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and just kind of pulled down some of the tracks in the mixer so it won't be so loud. Now let's go ahead and add Maybe one more sound in here, and then we'll add some drums. Got us a little 
little melody in here. I don't really like it at all. So let's try to add some drums to it. So to add some drums, like from your own samples or whatever, I just hit uh, the plus right there. I go to direct wave. I don't use the, jump, the drum sequencer, whether, whatever that is. I don't use the drum sequencer. I just use direct wave. So I'm going to click on direct wave. I got my files right here. Click on my files. Click on my samples, which is not letting me do it. I don't know. For some reason, I have to do it that way. I have to like click on my tracks, then go back, then click on my samples. Don't know why that works. So let's go ahead and get a clap. And I kind of like how you can audition the stuff. You can actually just, like click on it and it lets you go all the way down the range with it. So we'll use this clap. <laughs> Do not like this. We need auto quantize. Next, we're going to add a hi hat. That's good enough for right now. I've been working on this beat forever. It seems like it's going short for you guys, but I've been doing this for a very long time. So, the good thing about FL Studio is that you can go in here and just type in the notes. So, I'm going to just type this note in right here and just put them in here real quick. I'm going to take this and we're going to just stretch this all the way out. Okay, so let's play that back. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. Let's go ahead and add the bass. Alright, so there it is. Made a beat in FL Studio Mobile. It's not a bad program, sounds really good. I think the sound engine is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this beat a little bit more. Try to add some more stuff to it if I can. But uh, overall, I just really can't get into it because it has so many limitations in the program and just so much other stuff you gotta do to kind of get it working the way you want it to work. So I think I'm gonna stick to Beatmaker 3 for more stuff. But I think I might come back to this again later on. Well, if you guys know more than me, you guys let me know. So uh, I'm gonna finish this beat and I'm gonna play the beat at the end when I get done. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. And uh, like I always say, peace out and check out the beat right now.